Well, in this video is going to cover how you install SPC for Excel V6 on a PC. So you're going to start by assuming that you've downloaded the software into your downloads folder most likely, and that file is called SPC for Excel V6. It's a zipped file. What we're going to do is create a folder to put the software in. We're going to do that on a C drive. We're going to add a folder. We're going to call it SPC for Excel V6. You can put this folder anywhere you want on your computer. We're just going to use it here on the C drive. Then you can go back to the downloads folder, right click on the SPC for Excel V6 zipped file, hit extract all, and then we're going to browse to the, to the folder we just created on the C drive so we can put the software into that folder. So it's the SPC for Excel V6, you hit extract, and it extracts all the files for the software into the folder we created. It includes example files, getting started, installation, and example data. The software file is SPC for Excel V6. It has to be unblocked to be used. You do that so you right click on it, go to properties, and you can see this security warning at the bottom that the file came from another computer and might be blocked. To unblock it, you check the unblock, and then hit apply, and it should go away. If it goes away, it means that the software is now unblocked and can be used. You select OK, and we're ready to add the software as an add-in in Excel. So you open an Excel workbook, Go to File in the upper left-hand corner, down to Options, and then you're going to go Add-ins. And then down at the bottom, you see Manage Excel Add-ins and Go. You select Go. And we're going to add the software to the add-in. So we're going to browse back to that folder on the C drive again. Go back to the C drive, SPC for Excel V6. You're going to select the software file, SPC for Excel V6. Select OK. And you can now see it check. Hit OK, and it gets installed as an add-in. First thing it's going to do is ask you for how to offer to check for updates. Monthly is good. Select OK, accept the agreement. And then finally, you have some information on how to learn to use the SPC for Excel program. You can recall this screen anytime from the About SPC for Excel in the last panel on the ribbon. But when it's installed, you'll see SPC for Excel up between the Home and Insert tabs on the Excel ribbon. And you can see all the techniques that are included then in the SPC for Excel software. But this is how you go about installing SPC for Excel V6. Thanks for watching.